All right, so I'm going to convert this trailer into a food truck, and I thought I would document it here on YouTube. I'm looking to monetize the account, so I need a 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to walk through the whole entire process, including marketing and menu items. So consider subscribing and share the video if you like it. All right, so I'm going to start... I'm going to drill my first hole over here. In this area, I want to clear the support beam, but I want to leave a little overhang for the wooden frame I'm going to put in later. So I'm measuring from left to right, measuring three, four times just to make sure everything's accurate. That wafer board I drilled through on the first hole was pretty tough, so I'm drilling from the exterior now for the, the remainder of the holes, and I'm gonna make a little pilot hole so it's easy to get through. Smaller drill bit and then a bigger drill bit. Checking it again, make sure it's nice and even. This is a chalk line. So it's a string and a, and a thing. I'm adding a, a chalk. I'm going to shake it up and snap chalk line. I never tried this before. I thought I would, and it seems to work good. The rigid uh, metal cutting wheel actually works good. The aluminum didn't clog it up. Taking out the old grinder wheel, you can see how it's like a consumable. I'm hoping this diamond blade wheel will not be consumable. Came with a little ring that I don't need for my angle grinder. So we're just gonna get rid of that. It's kind of a dangerous tool. It locks in the on position. It's a really old tool, and as you will see shortly, it's going to be replaced. Ear protection, eye protection, and some gloves. Here I'm going through the outer skin, uh, the aluminum sheet. It's pretty easy. Behind that is uh, that wafer board. It's a bit tougher. And I'll use a different tool later. Use a sawzall to get through that. Using a square to make sure everything is square. Snap another line. So being this far into the job, I can see that that rigid diamond uh, blade is actually working really good. Now I got the exterior cut. I just have to peel back this aluminum so I can get at this uh, wafer board. So 
So here the tool, you can see it wasn't quite a big enough wheel to cut all the way through. So I'm gonna try to get it in there as far as I can and I'll follow up with that Sawzall to make the finishing cuts. And here we have a problem. This is where my tool starts to fail. It got jammed up in the vertical support. That was bad. And later in the video you'll see the, the tool actually gets destroyed. This tool is totally dead now. It'll have to be replaced. God, that looks bad. So we're going with a hole saw to, to make the holes in the corner so I can get the sawzall blade in there. This is actually going pretty easily. Whenever I start a job, I always buy brand new sawzall blades because it, it just seems it seems to work a lot better. They're pretty cheap. So you can see the cut's not exact. That's okay. I'm gonna in the next video. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna put a wooden frame in between the inner and outer surfaces of the trailer to to add support, and I can I can make up whatever is not perfectly square. This aluminum is about to get in my way and I'm going to get it out of my way using my rigid tool as a hammer. I've been using rigid tools as hammers for probably 20 years now and they, they just never seem to break.
go. Well, there it is. A big giant hole and a perfectly good enclosed trailer. It was a bit nerve-wracking. I think it worked out good. Don't forget to subscribe and share this there video. To see the updates. Thanks for watching. Afterwards, we'll do the outtakes. <laughs> like in the movies.